Well, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Okay, cool. All right, Lola, which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Of these? The, uh, the woman with the family, probably. Uncritical companionship and species propagation. Okay, got it. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> oh, God. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean, ugh. <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good hand-eye coordination. I'll put you down as functioning mammal. <laughs> Lightning oh. round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Uh, whatever. Lola, drugs. Yes, please. Milo, crowds. Uh, uh tired. Milo, I mean, Lola, break. Like, breaking bones? Ho, ho, ho! What could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind... Lola... What? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow, the sultan of revulsion, the drain on your brain, that pebble in your shoe you just can't get out! I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you, with anyone, really. It's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team, a real partnership. I want you to know that, oh crap, there's two of you? Uh, I'm so sorry, little lady, I didn't see you there. But, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Mary Warborn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunkmates. Yeah, hi. Uh, hi! Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados. What does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free-range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that. Office hours? Do we, do people get, like, time off? Hey, Norma Ray, it ain't for the people, it's for the demons. You think getting whipped for ten hours is hard? Try swinging the cat of nine tails all the live long day. You'll pray to trade seats. Abigail Cunningham. Yes? Your bones will be broken every day by a ball-peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. What? She wasn't even that bad. Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I, we just did this like two minutes ago. Milo, this is it. Okay, but this is, we gotta get out of here. Lola, what the hell do you think we can even... Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tetherball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only rob Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> Now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun, see you later, I'm going to get drunk. Wait, um, 
What is, what's our thing gonna be, our, our torture? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but, but what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bolinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another ride? Are you like his his friend? I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh it's I'm I'm being mean. Okay. I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Fligius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a I'm a cab driver. A ferryman to be a uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. What would hell need cab drivers for? I don't know how aware you are of the infrastructure here, but I just fell through the floor into a phantasmagorium. Ooh, yeah, no, uh, that, that'll happen. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first an Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Moa. Mr. Milo, Miss Lola, I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? I'm getting the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Ah, <sighs> here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Okay, it's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably you. Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead. You're in hell. It's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big land mass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch -in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract. The abyss. The outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story. Longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight. We're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so... And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so... Hey, I played water polo in gym class voluntarily, okay? Milo and I can egg beat her like our lives depend on it. I'm sure you can, Lola. I'm, I'm sure that if you were on the Titanic, we'd have a lot more Polish people today. But things are a little different here, All so right. just do what hey, I say Sam! and stay Sam! out of the river. What? Did you... did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material! How? So, not that either of you asked, but this is First and Izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh, use that information as you will. Just don't shake everybody's hand, is what I'm saying. And look at people's shoes when you talk to them. So, like, people live here? Uh, well, nobody really lives in hell. We're all just um, kind of part eating? of it. Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of hey, people you think we should Hey, excuse me. 
We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. I warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah, he's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okie smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, cause we're in hell. So we're gonna be all right in there, right? Sure, just uh, tuck your arms into your shirt sleeves. So, Here goes nothing. whenever you're ready. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't well, even look at me. Well, if it me. isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are you? Hey, Forney, perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're... We looked adorable at the person pound, okay? She was powerless to resist. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we... We didn't want to get into it earlier, but we we actually want to try and get home if uh, if that's okay. Yeah, all right, that's uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we we can get into it in a bit. Just uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, uh, all right. Fornius with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me, bartender, do you have, like, uh, a menu, or...? Okay, okay, give me a second, miss. A woman ordered a bitter lemon drop, and I'm trying to remember if I got any eggs. Come back in a minute. Whatever, let's just go upstairs with Sam, Lola. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up? Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Tommy Boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't want to wear it. Get him to invite us up. Yes, let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Excuse me, barkeep. We would like a... Um... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? It's not the the worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont? Oh, it's still, you know. I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't... Nobody take it as a challenge. She's Lola, I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to- Wait, 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 you're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me, come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here- Um, sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. <laughs> wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect, let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend, let's go. Cheers.
Ah, uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Sounds just like college. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu- What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are! Jim Jum! <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, uh, yesterday more. Hey, dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, grass bowls tend to make people a little ordinary. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. Ted, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should. We're missing our chance. We should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs to Sam and, uh, her info. Um, yeah, but we should probably get a drink first. Don't have to twist my arm. Uh, barkeep, what's, uh, on the menu this morrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. A pair of anguish. Is it good? Don't ask me, I just work here. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. I don't know why, but it makes this somehow even more depressing. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... T How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... Trying to... Oh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Hey, fellas. Beer pong, huh? Uh, my my dorm room was next to the guy who won his league tournament. That's awesome. You know what would be even more awesome? If he could stop talking and never start again. Hey now, Artesia's consumer of negligent fathers, that's not cool. Milo, right? You want to play around? It's really simple. <laughs> Easy to learn, hard to master, right? I've, uh, never played before. Is it like normal Pong? Because in that, the ball bounces back. You catch on quick. Did you die drinking bleach thinking it was just really painful water? Uh, look, it's easy. Lola, okay. You and me, Bright Eyes. I'm going to wreck you. Lola, do you want to, uh, to play? Let's dance. Fuck him up, Lola. Gather round, everyone. This chickadee thinks she's a rooster already. Well, I eat people who eat roosters for breakfast. You make more well wishers with honey than with vinegar. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. We really pride ourselves on our ability to trash talk down here. It's like, even if you lose, if you got in a few verbal jabs along the way, a few witty rejoinders. Yeah, so take your shot, shithead. Or we can just call each other names, you know, whichever's faster. Oh, are you chicken now? Should we bring out the oven? Get a roast going. 
If I could feel bad about anything, I'd almost feel that for you. Don't get too comfortable. This'll take about as long as your dick. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You can do it! First you graduate clown college, now this. Hey, shouldn't there be an Amber Alert right about now? This asshole's skills are missing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Lola. Someone put her out of her misery, Jesus. Tell me the truth. When you were born, the condom manufacturer had to issue an apology, right? Oh. <laughs> Fuck this. Lola, let's go. Oof, close. If I had a controller, I'd throw it. Picture victory, and victory will be yours. Thank God you're playing. Oh. Lola, it's all you. you got this. Typical. You can do it, Lola. Don't worry about it. Eat my shit, cup, damn it. Just throw the thing in the thing, Lola, and you'll have done what you should. Good try. Oh. Lola, I think you're up. Nice! I cannot believe this shit. My arm was tired from stabbing and eating fathers all day. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. Hey! Oh, oh, I cannot believe it. I, I won! And you lost, even though you're bigger and have lights shooting out of your eyes. Oh, it's God! This is going to ruin my whole week. <laughs> Man, you got the luck of a white Protestant, kid. I'm inviting them, all right? Eh, uh, they're goofy looking enough. You guys want to hang out more? I'm throwing a little party upstairs. Just tell the big guy your name, and I'll put you on the list. Awesome, thanks. You're awesome. Let's go get Sam before he looks at us again and changes his mind. Need a drink? Uh, sure. Uh, two grave robbers. What kind of whiskey? Well, if I knew I would get the third degree, I wouldn't have even bothered. What can I get you? Make me a famous last words. something good sir I believe we're on the list your parents must be proud know your place or I'll be happy to give you an education my office hours are between 8 and 4 30 and I don't work Jewish holidays I hate this job This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? 
Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Farney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? We sort of made friends with Thomas, the night scalper Tulaney, so... Yay! Lola beat his buddy in blood pong. Wow, I'm impressed. You're a little old for Tulaney. You know, but with Milo's head of hair, I can... I can see the appeal, actually. Lola's... overstating things. It was beginner's luck, really. Beginner's luck is only possible if you try, Milo. Lee Harvey Oswald taught me that. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour, or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Okay, but why are you telling us this? I feel like I'm talking to my uncle about how great Brooklyn used to be. I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo... Welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> 